Today we are making art inspired by the Japanese contemporary artist Yayoi Kusama. Today our goal is to practice using organic and geometric shapes to create our very own infinity room. Yayoi Kusama makes lots of different types of art. Paintings, sculptures, performances, and installations. But they all have one thing in common. Lots of dots. She was born in Japan in 1929. She loved drawing and painting. Even though her parents didn't want her to be an artist, she was determined. When her mom tore up her drawings, she made more. When she could not afford to buy art materials, she used mud and old sacks to make art. Below is a drawing she made of her mom when she was 10 years old. Yayoi Kusama is sometimes called the princess of polka dots. She tells the story of how when she was a little girl, she had a dream that scared her. She was in a field of flowers when they all started talking to her. The head of the flowers were like little dots that went on as far as she could see, and she felt as if she was disappearing into the field of endless dots. This influenced most of her later work by adding all over marks and dots to her paintings, drawings, objects, and clothes. She feels as if she's making them and herself melt into and become part of a bigger universe. She creates environments of dots so that we can experience this feeling of self-obliteration too. She calls these rooms infinity rooms and creates them by installing hundreds of flashing colored LED lights into mirrored rooms. The pinpricks of light in the dark room reflect endlessly in the mirrors making you feel like you're in an endless space as the dots surround you. In the late 1950s, Yayoi Kusama met and inspired many artists, including Andy Warhol, and her art was part of many exciting art developments like pop art and minimalism. She also was one of the first artists to experiment with performance and action art. As well as being an art pioneer, Yayoi Kusama put her creativity into other things too, including music, design, writing, and fashion. Let's create an infinity room drawing together. For this, she'll need a couple sheets of paper, a Sharpie or pencil to draw with, and a marker for your polka dots. You may want to grab a whiteboard and do a practice first. Let's start by drawing forms and shapes on our paper. I'm drawing some organic shapes and some geometric shapes like the circle. Once you've drawn as many forms and shapes as you like, add polka dots in each of these shapes. Once you have drawn polka dots in each of your shapes, you can add polka dots to the background as well.
And now you have a drawing of one type of infinity room, very similar to Yayoi Kusama's art. Here are some other ideas using different shapes to create another type of infinity room.